Sometimes data comes in pairs or triples. For example, you might have a pair of X and Y coordinates on a 2D grid. In Kotlin, you can represent related data like this in a very simple way through the use of a pair. By the time you're done with this exercise, you'll know how to use five different data types in Kotlin. Integers, doubles, strings, and now pairs and triples. You will see pairs more in the collection section. Let's dive in. The pair class takes two values in its constructor. You can use it as a return value in functions and then deconstruct it into variables. Let's make a pair of ints. Here we've created a coordinates value that is a pair of two integers, two and three. Now we're deconstructing coordinates into an x and y variable. Now let's run this by hitting Control R. We can see by the output that x equals 2 and y equals 3. One very important feature of Kotlin is the idea of variable substitution in the print line function. To print out the actual value of x, we just put a dollar sign before the variable. If you need to print out something more complex, you will need to surround it with dollar sign curly braces. For example, here we're printing out x equals coordinates dot first, which is the first value in the pair, and y equals coordinates dot second, which is the second value. Here we're creating a coordinates double value that is a pair of two doubles. Let's run this and see what we get. You can see the last printout shows us 2.1 and 3.5. We can also mix types. Here you see we've created a coordinates mixed value that is a pair of a double and an integer. Let's go ahead and run that. And you can see the last values 2.1 and 3. To access the pair's values, use the first and second variable names. Here we've got x1, which accesses the first variable, and y1, which accesses the second one. Let's run that. And you see that we've got 2 and 3 for x1 and y1. The triple class is like pair, but holds three separate values. You can deconstruct them or reference the first, second, and third properties. Here we've created the coordinates 3D value that is a triple of three integers, two, three, and one. Now we're going to deconstruct this variable into x3, y3, and z3. Let's go ahead and run that. You can see that for x3 we have 2, y3 is 3, and z3 is 1. If you don't need one of the values, you can use the underscore to ignore it. Here, for the z value, we've put an underscore so we don't need that. And we can just print out x4 and y4. Let's go ahead and run that. And you can see we have x4 equals 2 and y4 equals 3. In our next video, we will challenge you on pairs and triples.